Um, we wonder for people on our door, how on they do? Our option are all they do very, very well. Well, normally they can say, if you see, you see Agbolo, they run Santem. Must not say something they run after them or in they run after something. Well, I can briefly for can tell you now about the kind of problem where they happen inside we yard. Remember last year, one member of parliament where they call Ibrahim Tawa Conte being uh, um, resigned from the Transparency and Accountability Committee na Parliament as chairman. This is say na because the parliament's leadership they try for Benny and be end him back for Seka where he want do the right thing. Well, we remember say where them be they talk about the right thing na for Seka waiting them we call Salcab. Where now one uh, um, um, government company where they manage the internet business, yeah, this submarine fiber cable business, yeah. The Minister of Information and Communication being say because Salcab not they make profit. Now that make the one for call waiting, the, the one for do waiting and call on bundling, yeah. Well, this nothing will not been go down well with the um, chairman of the Transparency and Accountability Committee because he say the uh, um, 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 minister not the talk to. Well, the minister been tawa na parliament and then they remember anything and this will make the, the honorable be resigned and. After we be resigned, the parliament leadership be same way so call them to uh, um, for query because they say it don't go against the uh, the ethics, the 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 laws them of parliament. He resign and not tell the speaker. He resign and talk other things them when not been go down well with the speaker. Well, today when a Tuesday, yeah, um, this honourable been there na AYV radio and television. Usai ego for talk about this particular thing where na salcab and the one where they want for transfer you know ownership to when a private company. Well, he explained inside this particular interview na AYV the kind mess where the minister they carry the country to. How he talks say the minister they join other people and company them for fraud the country of plenty, plenty, plenty money. Well. Fole, you know, feel say na me can for can talk boku. Then say, yeri and from the us in much incest yeah? ya. No go no say yo. Listen to this particular interview where honourable Ibrahim Tawa Conte been do na AYV. Today Tuesday morning inside a good morning and wake up salon and eh, eh, program ya. Yeah? I will come back after this particular um, interview. So listen to Ramia to the end. Ibrahim Tawa Conte. Um, of course, um, going back to when you were the chair of um, the public, um, the transparency um, committee in parliament, we saw where you resigned as a result. I mean, you gave us a reason that um, you were um, twisted by the leadership of parliament because you were probing into the Salcab um, saga with the Ministry of Information and Communications. And um, we, uh, th there are things happening at Salcab. Um, complaints are, are there. But let me ask you to inform our viewers and, uh, and uh, social media followers that we invited um, the Ministry of Information and Communications to be, um, to be in this program. And they said they're not ready to come out, but when they're ready, the platform is always available for them to come and respond. Things are happening at Salcab. The, the MD is complaining here and there that um, they've been marginalized. People are saying, oh, jobs, I mean, are gone and they're... There are private individuals now dealing with the activities of Salcab. What, what, what are your findings, first off? Well, let me thank you. Uh, let me thank the people of Sierra Leone for waiting patiently since my resignation on the 10th of September mm. onto this period to talk about Salcab because, like you rightly said, I was in the process of investigating the unbundling mm. of Salcab that um, was put to cabinet by the Minister of Information and Communication, requesting that cabinet approve the process leading to the unbundling of SALCAB. The, the terminology unbundling was first of all confusing. But come to think of it, there are critical sectors in the entire process, and one of these sectors is parliament. Mm -hmm. SALCAB was a creation of parliament by way by way in which parliament has been approving successive loans for mm -hmm. SALCAB, either 
by from the WASIP project, that is the West African Regional Communication Infrastructure Program, or by the ECO One project of the um, Islamic Development Bank, mm -hmm. or the Exim Bank project for the National Fiber Backbone Phase One, which was mm -hmm. fifteen million dollars, and the Exim Bank project Phase Two, which is another thirty million dollars. Now, what has happened in Sa at Salcab is that the Minister of Information and Communication, for whatever reason, has decided to dismantle Salcab. My concern is not the MD and the staff alone. My concern is the legacy and reputation of the president. If you look at what is happening in Salcab, and if you look at the, the draft um, agreements that um, the ministry and the National Public Procurement Authority came up with, you will realize that there is a whole lot of syndication between Zulab, the current company that is to take over, or well, has taken over already. That's the irony. They are in place already. That's, that's what uh, I was going to clarify. You know, has this unbundling happened or not? Because the ministry is yet to comment, is yet to comment on that. But, you know, staff of Salcab are saying that, you know, jobs are missing, people are not working, and, you know, so what exactly is going on? Do you have the facts? Documentation-wise, the unbundling has not happened. Because for the unbundling to happen, for Salcab to be unbundled, you need the approval of cabinets authorizing the legitimate um, um, operation and management, operation management and commercialization contract between the Ministry of Information that is representing the government of Sierra Leone and Zulab that is taking over. Yeah, but that has not happened. Equally, Parliament has not approved the the OM and C between these two parties. Mm -hmm. So, in principle. There is no unbonding. When, you, when, 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 just when, when you say um, cabinet has not approved, but the, the ministry said that's cabinet's decision, and uh, that, that was what brought about even the, the pandemonium between yourself and the, minist and the minister back in parliament. That, that of course, I'm this is cabinet's decision. Well, the cabinet decision was not to unbundle Salcab directly. Okay. It was the minister seeking cabinet attention for the unbundling of Salcab? And in the process, let me let me let me show you something mm -hmm. to show you that there is a clear syndication between whosoever is one in Zulab, the Ministry of Information, and people behind the unbundling to so defraud the people of Sierra Leone and muddy the legacy of His Excellency the President. I don't know if you can have this, mm -hmm. and maybe read too. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, somebody will get it from you. Sure. Okay. Just because go ahead. what I want to show you is. What was presented in that cabinet's paper mm -hmm. are exactly the same language, same writing, same drafting between what was presented by Zudlab mm -hmm. as the executive summary. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to read it so that you follow up, Quiet. so that you understand exactly what I'm you saying. Could, you could read like a paragraph or two to help us understand. Okay, exactly. if you want to understand it, now you will come to the executive summary. Mm -hmm. Here, yeah. It said the government of Sierra Leone through the World Bank and the Islamic Development Bank has made significant investment to improve the telecommunication infrastructure through the deployment of submarine cable, landing standing for international subsea connectivity and terrestrial fiber backbone for domestic and regional interconnection. Mm. This is the cabinet paper now. The cabinet paper says the government of Sierra Leone, a partnership with the World Bank, the Islamic Development Bank, and the Chinese Exim Bank, have made significant investments since 2010 to improve the telecommunication infrastructure through the deployment of submarine cable landing standing for international subsea connectivity and terrestrial fiber backbone for domestic and regional interconnection. Mm -hmm. So you see, and this document was presented on the seventh meeting of cabinet held on the 12th of August 2020. Whereas this agreement was submitted in December 2020. So you see the language, the way the, mm -hmm. the, the things are panning out. It shows that there is a clear syndication, the Ministry of Information. Yeah, I'm saying this unnecessarily. The Ministry of Information has syndicated with people to rob the people of Sierra Leone and put us in critical uh, uh, situation. What is critical here? Salcab is in a total uh, 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 debt liability of about $110 million to different um, creditors. The World Bank, the Exim Bank, um, the IDB. Now, quite recently, the Minister of Information in this cabinet paper he submitted that he is requesting cabinets yeah, to support the acquisition of a loan from the Exim Bank of China of $30 million. And that loan is to support the National Fiber Backbone Phase 2. 
And the natural fiber backbone phase two is to complement the natural fiber backbone phase one. Let's talk about the, de um, the debt liability. I was, at, uh, I was at a press conference organized by the Ministry of Information when they, want, when they were um, given information as to the reasons for the unbundling of SALCAB. The debt, for example, according to the, uh, the acting um, director of communications, um, JALO, and even the minister, um, they are trying to unbundle, um, unbundle NASC, um, SALCAB because SALCAB, I mean, in its current state, cannot service those debts. So, Bringing in or, or dividing SALCAB would give more opportunity to those who would take over um, some aspects of SALCAB to be able to meet and pay off those debts. So SALCAB would be more efficient and effective. Could, could that not be a valid reason for actually the unbonding of SALCAB with the debt you're, you're, you're mentioning? Could that not be the very reason why the acting director of communication and the minister not be sacked today? Because if you look at the agreement, you go to clause 9, Clause 9 A, B, and C on page 21. It says Zulab will only take over the assets and not the liabilities in this contract. Mm. So if the minister is saying Salcab is not making money, but for the last eight years, Salcab has been able to meet the debt service agreement as per the, 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 circular, the circular memo sent by the Ministry of Finance to the very Ministry of Information, asking them to review certain clauses in this contract. In this contract in clause 9, in the special uh, contract clause 9, it says Zulab will be taking over the assets and not the liabilities. And the liabilities include the debts, include the, the wear and tear, include the, the spares, include the, the, the damage in the asset. These are the liabilities of, of SALCAB. And let me tell you something. You are giving SALCAB, the debt of SALCAB alone is about $110 million. Yeah? You are giving it to a company that has existed for only three years. You're giving it to a company that does not have any, any history of running an infrastructure as big as SACAB. You're giving it to a company that the CEO and chairman of that company has worked in the telecommunication for about 30 years. In that 30 years, he has controlled only $20 million of assets. Only $20 million. And if you divide $20 million by 30 years, it means he had controlled a little above $700,000 per annum. So you are giving him an asset of that nature. And coincidentally, the current chief operating officer of Zulab was the chief commercial officer of SALCAB. And in this document, in the executive summary, in the management profile, he has technically deleted everything that concerned his working relationship with SALCAB, which shows something is wrong. Mm. I, I was human resource manager before. If you decide to exclude any part of your professional work history, it means you either must have committed crime in that institution, or you do not want the current employer to whom you're seeking employment to seek reference from that uh, 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 institution. So if the chief operating officer, and for the records, there are only four management officers in Zulab, and they are saying they have an office at Bendus Drive. There is no office at Bendus Drive. The office at ben Bendus Drive is the asset of Salcab again. That is CLS, the cable landing station. That is the Salcab asset again. They are also saying they are operating a satellite office in Florida in um, uh, Fort uh, 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 Lauderdale in Florida, in South and Florida. For those that have traveled to America, they will know that South and Florida, what they do there is beaches, canoes, and just activity. So you are taking an asset of CIO, give it to a company that does not have the credential, and you are still saying, these are the problems. You know the problem of SALCAM. Why can't we fix it internally? My problem is not SALCAM. The fact is, we have entered into a loan agreement. We have not notified the creditors yet. The World Bank is not informed that we have transferred um, 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 SALCAB to somebody else. The world, there is no restructuring of the financing agreements, the loans that we've entered into as the government of Sierra Leone. The government of Sierra Leone is the principal guarantor for all of these loans. So if the loan crystallizes, the World Bank falls back on the government of Sierra Leone. If the loan crystallizes, the Exim Bank comes back to the government of Sierra Leone. So in that instance, if you're giving somebody that entity to one, what you need to do is go back to the creditors, tell them that we are passing over our liabilities. I, could, I, can, I cannot resist um, the urge to ask you this question. This advocacy of yours, the, the fact that you, you're so concerned about this SALCAB issue, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're you are not oblivious of the myth that, ah, honorable Ibrahim Tawa, 
he dines with um, the current the, with current MD um, Ishmael Kibi. So I, is this a way of saying okay, the one pull bread bread nine more so that make it go ala ala? Well, the truth is, mm -hmm. somebody will say okay, it is this same honor with Ibrahim Sarakonte that is shouting about the audit report. Who is behind the audit report? Do I am I dining with the auditor general? No. It's the same honorable Ibrahim Tawa that has shouted about corruption in parliament. Who is benefiting from that? And to set the record straight, the committee I resigned from in parliament is the second most biggest committee in parliament, the Transparency and Accountability Committee. After PAC is stuck. So if I'm looking for goodies, if I'm looking for pleasantries, if I'm looking for bounties, I'm sure I would be chairman by now. I would not have been, I would not have mind the fact that I was, I'm twisted at the back, but hence something is coming. I would have been. But what I'm concerned about is protecting the legacy of a president who people are using to pursue their interest, deceiving him and failing to give the proper information to that president. Let's, let's understand this. I will start to say, it said the person that is bad, it's not the one that is initiating the, the danger. It's those that understand, they know, and they understand the truth, but they refuse to speak. And if I sit there and I profess and I go around, ah, I love President Bio, President Bio is a good president, I am supporting President Bio. And people like Rado are undermining President Bio. People like Rado are pushing a company, a portfolio company. Zulan is just a portfolio company. Let's be facts about that. If you don't have a balance sheet, if you don't have a capital investment to start your business, currently, Zulan is running the accounts of Sarkar. That is a crime. The account of Sankar is a government account. They have changed the signatories of that account. Th this is what I wanted to get to, because you've, <coughs> you've just clarified that on paper, the unbundling has not happened, but it seems that this company, Zoomlab, it, they've already taken over uh, um, um, Salkab. So what exactly is going on there? What exactly is going on is for the Ministry of Information to come out and let's sit in the open and discuss the issue of the unbundling of Salkab. Maybe p somebody is apprehensive somewhere. If you say you're going to do a management and um, 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 operation management and commercialization contract, you have to wait until that contract goes through the due process. As we speak now, the account of Salkar is being run by Zudla. They have instructed all of the signatories on the Salkar account to sign a mandate card transferring their mandate to authorities uh, uh, in Zudlam, that is to say, Bakima and uh, uh, Dava Fa uh, 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 Fazali and others. So currently, Zudlam is being run with the very money gen generated by Sarkar. We are also saying the vehicles, the assets, even office, the office space of Sarkar is what Zudlam is using. So what are we doing? What, what action are we, are, we, are, we, are we initiating? And besides that, if you go back to the 30 million exit bank loan, let me give you this. The, ex the 30 million exit bank loan could have been avoided mm. because what was holding the, the, the Islamic Development Bank to roll out the ECHO 1 phase 2 was the completion report that was held back by Satin Sasewa that is currently a director at NATCOM. He, he held back to the report because according to him, he was not paid by the last government for his work. And he was the coordinator for the ECHO 1 project, a very successful project. And the ECHO 1 project, um, laid 660 kilometers of fiber across 42 uh, 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 stations, yeah? And all of those stations are working. All of those stations, they have solar panels. All of those stations have backup generators. And for the NFB1 that was implemented by Huawei, yeah? You will realize that of all the seven sites, none of them are working. In fact, two are only up now because of the efforts of SARCAP. So what are we saying? We are entering into a loan when the, whereas the Islamic Development Bank had already put money aside as a grant for Sierra Leone to roll out the, 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 the Echo One Phase Two. And we have entered, have taken Sierra Leone into a loan of $30 million because of selfish interest. So my problem is, it is not dining with KB. KB is not a friend. Yeah? KB is a member of the Sierra Leone People's Party. And we are not talking about party here. We are talking about country. And the country's interest, let's not forget, it says, my oath in parliament says that I shall bear full faith and allegiance to the Republic of Sierra Leone. And the unbundling of Salka is affecting the Republic of Sierra Leone because even the company, they are only committing to paying 1,800,000 annually. And that's 1,800,000 annually that they are committing to pay to the government of Sierra Leone is both the rental and debt services. So 
in, 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 so in basically that, uh, that again is going to come from what they will be generating from sarka it's what, what that will come from the list that will be given to them mm. and in this instance government of sierra leone will now start to pay whether it's a bond or bad risk package whatever arrangement that's going to be done between the minister of information and zoodlab the government of sierra leone is now going to begin to pay for the e-governance system that is being used by all the government ministries, departments, and agencies. Currently, they are not paying South Cap. So if mm. you say South Cap is not making money, it's because government agencies are not paying South Cap. I mean, and so now you're saying government agencies who pay Zulab because of the same facilities. And Zulab does not have the credential to run this thing. Mm -hmm. So That's if we know the problem, the why can't we fix it? The communications ministry you know, has some clarifications to yeah. make regarding mm -hmm. this issue. Unfortunately, the minister is not here, nor uh, a, a representative, representative yeah. to, to, to clarify these issues. Um, hopefully, we can get them in the soonest, uh, yeah. at the soonest they yeah. can. Our producer um, is trying, actually, to ensure that we get a representative right, from but, the ministry. But uh, just uh, as a way to bring you into this conversation, uh, um, Dr. Simbo, is there any, because certainly there are certain people who are going to lose their jobs after this unfolds or during the minister, the the minister actually assured <laughs> that nobody's going to to lose any job is that the case that's what the minister showed oh, oh, well, well, to make a quick correction on that the minister when he faced the committee the joint committee he said exactly what simon has alluded to that nobody will lose nobody his job. will lose but what they have done now you know there is a whole lot of confusion uh Mumin is the acting director of communication Mumin is the transition chairman for the process um, moving Salcap to Zudlab. Mumini was the chairman ne of the negotiation committee that negotiated with Zudlab and agreed on all the clauses in this contract. Mumini was the, 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 the was a senior member at the ministry when Salcap was established. Mumini was the advisor to the former minister, both Ibi Kambo and uh, Mohamed Bangua, for the diversity that was recommended by the World Bank in the WASI project. It was Mumini that recommended that government should take 100 percent and remove the shareholding that was that was divested to um, mnos it was this it is the same mumini that assured us in parliament that nobody will lose their job and now in the agreement what they have said is that nobody will lose their job previously it's like saying all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than the others or animals should sleep on bed without sheets what are we saying I, I, I just wanted to bring the labor minister in on this wh on whether there are certain uh, um, legislation that comes in, in for issues like this where uh, um, um, a company is being privatized uh, a government um, institution is being privatized well of course if there are liabilities in terms of uh, the employment contracts that they enter into then definitely those have to be honored uh, but what I know a bit in terms of what the minister said, yes, he used the word needlessly. And yeah, when they talk about needlessly, it's ex except where it is absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as I know, the process has not been completed, right? Uh, people would have to be reassigned anyway, because when you are making changes, you change for, it is expected that you change for the very good reasons, right? To make things more effective. So uh, until the process is completed, uh, I will still want to believe that uh, we have to look forward to what the minister said. That mm. is to say, <laughs> nobody will lose his job just needlessly. Right? In some transformation, you find out that some key players sometimes, if they want to be part of the process of frustrating mm. their activities, they might tend to be doing things that are not contained in their contract. Mm. And where that one is discovered, the new outfit will have no alternative but to take their profits and ensure that the objective is realized. Right. But in terms of industrial relations, contracts have to be honored. And I have not looked at the specific nature of the contract. Some are permanent staff, some normally operate in contracts, and where the contract expires and a provision is not placed there on the period in which a notification has to be given by either party, if you fail to do that when that contract expires, the, the, the employer does not have an obligation to renew it anyway. Right. But if you the employer are still interest, interested in continuing with the employment, you evoke the provision that talks about notification prior to the expiration mm. of the contract. And where the employer fails to react to that, then you come to know that the possibility of renewal is very slim. So for this one, until the process is completed, that will be the time you come to know whether people have lost their jobs or they have not their jobs. But as far as 
the information I had from the minister the last time he spoke to everybody is also being carried out. All right. Stay with us. Now you know, say, I'm not just come here so for can't talk because I want for talk, yeah? You don't see how this particular honorable don't say the minister of information and the cabinet want for fraud the state. You see, you don't hear you for yourself. This company, when they hand over the government company to not even get the 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 the, the, the trank for do that. Day. This company not ever handle big kind company like this. This company, all the office the way they say they get now fraud. Yeah, this particular company, they not get money for pay set for, for their office. In fact, the one way they take over, so then they don't say they need to take the liability and waiting. But now, their office, then this and that, all thing, then and they use. And people that will be there inside the sal cab of Incessive. Now, then same way, so don't go and form that company in there where they don't come for take that particular thing they, and for fraud the state. You do you understand them? And you hear you say, the person where they are, uh, um, the, the, the company where they are unbundling to right now, be not work with sal cab. And be because it been get record of that, it don't delete them. What? What did they happen? You know, the, in this kind of thing, they go with and call conflict of interest, yeah? So, in some of them things they are so if only the caretaker and the ACC commissioner not get interest in all of this, then suppose for investigate and then suppose for bring people them to book because now we the people them, they want for fraud. Let me continue for listening. Uh, Honorable Tower Conte, just before you respond to um, some of the messages, it's pretty clear that you're not satisfied um, with the job done regarding um, the unbundling of, of SALCAB. So what is the way forward for you? What are you going to do next? Well, the, the way forward is continuous advocacy and to continue to speak so that people understand exactly what is happening um, in the corridors of power. People understand exactly what ministers, what ministries, what departments, what agency, what organs of government like parliament are doing to support the effective running and the operations of government. You see, this president will not succeed if parliament that is supposed to contribute 65% to its success has dropped the ball. You see, in all of this, had parliament allowed the transparency committee to probe into these agreements or to probe into the discussion at the time? At that time, we were only talking about cabinet paper. Today, we have a contract, a decent contract that is saying government should shoulder the liabilities. Zulab should take all the assets and generate money. And Zulab is using government's money. Now they say per career so to say they use your oil for freeway. This is complete madness. So for me, the next step is to continue to advocate, push through to ensure that I see the president and explain to the president. So that some of these um, gimmicks, some of these stories that people take to the president and explain as if they are saints or as if they are larger than life or they are extraordinary. So that the president understands some of these details that yes, we are supposed to benefit from a 30 million grant, and instead the Ministry of Information pushed through for a 30 million loan. Yes, the agreement, supply agreement signed between Huawei and the Ministry of Information for the implementation of NFB2 should not have been signed had it not been for the fact that people think that they have some interest in it. And over and above that, you know, the Anti-Corruption Commission had touted a lot about the amendment to the ACC Act of um, um, 2010 in 2019. And in that amendment, we have inserted a new subsec a new section 126A. And that new section 126A gives the anti-corruption the power to intervene in contract like this, stop the execution of the contract and understand exactly how this contract will be of interest or how this contract will disadvantage the people of Sierra Leone. Right. To a large extent, this contract is not good. Zulab does not have the capacity. They don't have the financial capacity. Currently, they are running on the infrastructure of SALCAP. They are using SALCAP's money. How can you pass on signatory to a bank account without the approval of cabinet, talk less of parliament? How uh, can Zulab be spending government money without officially I mean, like I said before, money. this conversation it would have been, yeah, 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 it would mean it more, so much more if uh, the communications ministry was represented here mm -hmm. uh, um, this and morning. We'll but obviously, it is a conversation worth having and worth continuing. So um, I guess you should wait to receive our call next time as soon as yes, the definitely. ministry is ready to speak on this matter. Now, you said the city drama, NT. Okay, now... Um, 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 Zulab, yeah, where they give this particular, um, where they don't give Salcap rights now. Now, one, we can for can benefit more from Salcap rather than make the people of Weyad benefit. You do you understand? But 
Of course, Ministry of Information no go sit down with Ibrahim Tawakonte for discuss this thing because they know say the man know the issues and he know what they talk. For example, the Ministry of Information not to one person they did. Then get the minister, then get the deputy, then get directors, then get and um, um, different different people. Uh, head of communication, head of strategic, this head of everybody. Then book they? So if they really want for Sidon with this uh, um, honorable for talk about this thing, if they're honest, if they the righteous, if they're transparent about all of these things, then go Sidon with the minister with the honorable for let them discuss. But here we are, this particular uh, issue where they go on to the minister of his self don't talk about them as one of his achievements for 2020. And the achievements where he only achieve now for able for bring the country down, down, down to nothing imagine the country the the company supports for benefits 30 million grants grants we mean say then they give free but because of them dabao and rikishi uh g he call her no more now yeah then push for waiting and call loan then trust so you see the company now in a sal cap don't get more 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 debt than waiting than they expect and this is not the very uh, 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 um, um, thing where they talk say the, the caretaker been going to parliament in the state opening and talk say sal cap they make money because this now waiting the minister of information tell him and now he go tell parliament so this now one of the things them where the honorable be hold on to where the minister in go now he say sal cap not they make money so this now one of the people them you know this uh, um, uh, minister of information the uh, um, uh, um, um, clerk of parliament now people in this where no one foresee the caretaker succeed but until you know we care take care now. Um, most of the one for C people them where they praise them, where they 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 they, they praise sing for them when then they go in the wrong way, rather than they put to them the right thing at the right time for direct them. You not blind man, you know they see all side. Yeah, then you see possibly where they near you, we don't see something. Instead of you guide you, you want for they say, hey, go. Go, you see, for I only before I say, go de, go de, go de. The way you go for go jump now, you follow inside. So, if now that's the caretaker wants, well, the people of Weyad go get for this side. So, now this small thing no more account with you, yeah, for let you say, self can know, waiting and waiting, they happen with regards to this unbundling of Salcap to this so called Zulak and um, Komnin, we're not capable of handling um, even 100 people, um, you know, then they can't handle BB company now for Weyad. Yes, Weyad. All kind, all kind, uh, um, how they call them? Uh, uh, um, a rat that they can't for can't take uh, 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 privatization inside Weyad. All man the fraud in fraud. But anyway, left to the caretaker and the anti-corruption. But we waiting me no no more. Yeah, it the honorable the talk say the anti-corruption, you know, get a particular clause where supposed for going to them things that stop them. But like I say, if the caretaker and the ACC commissioner get interest into all of this, they're not gonna stop them. But if they not get we go see them stop them very soon. This man bring up this issue from the time where they say cabinet paper. Now then got to draw go draw with him, man. Now they don't get to see call contract. Eh, who say we had to go? Anyway, now this small thing on my which for you this particular afternoon, we will join you again. Annette, me and Justin, follow we talk about the first lady hmm? and other things, them where they happen inside we are. Bye bye.